My name is Ken Cash, and this evening I would like to discuss some of the educational innovations that some of the professors at TRIC are employing uh, uh, to, to promote student success. And with us this evening, we have two esteemed English professors, Professor Suzanne Reyes and Professor Patrick Stansberry. Uh, this evening, I was thinking of maybe discussing uh, in particular two of those programs. Uh, one is called the uh, Pearson My Skills Lab. And Pat, I was just wondering if you could explain to us what that's about. Sure. Uh, Pearson's one of the major textbook publishers, and they developed a, a series of labs, online workshops, to complement their, uh, their textbooks. Um, and they have, they have labs for a lot of different disciplines. Uh, my math lab for mathematics, my psych lab for psychology. Uh, and we use several of them in the English department for composition and literature. Uh, but the one we're talking about is my skills lab. And it um, is, it, it, the intention is to develop uh, basic writing skills for mostly beginning uh, college students. And the focus is in really three areas. Um, basic writing, uh, things like organizing, um, paragraphing, down to the sentence level. Uh, the um, basic study skills that college students need and also um, um, reading skills, uh, things like how to preview textbooks, uh, how to find the meaning of words, things of that sort. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the lab, the My Skills Lab is, is really um, intended to, to complement uh, the instruction from okay. the professor. Mm -hmm. One of the things that, that this type of program does for the students is it gives them an opportunity to do some hands-on learning. Mm -hmm. A lot of our students um, have a kinesthetic uh, style of learning. And so this allows them to actually, you know, be able to work, you know, with their hands on the computer and actually work through um, different uh, recall exercises um, mm -hmm. for learning the concepts and then what we kind of like the best, which is the apply exercise, which actually gives them a paragraph that they have to read through looking for the different kinds of mm -hmm. grammar and punctuation and actually, you know, inserting the changes that they need right on the computer with with guidance from us you know walking around and, and talking mm -hmm. to them and modeling this does have the function of really introducing them to a world that um, that may be new to them but that's essential to education and it's also essential to the workplace okay um, so it's it's kind of nice that you can actually see them working and figure out and give them some instant mm -hmm. help so it sounds like there's really benefits for the students and the instructor Oh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely, absolutely. And, and this came around about, <coughs> like, I understand that publishers will send textbooks to, to instructors, you know, to try to get people to use them in sure. the classrooms. Yeah. Absolutely. So you're yeah. saying that this computer program is uh, kind of came with the textbook, or I mean, how well, did you become? It's it's a subscription-based system, so uh, you can have it bundled with the textbook, uh, mm -hmm. which is what we did. Uh, we actually <coughs> customized a couple of texts. Um, oh, really? One of them is a handbook that has a lot of information on, on sort of basic writing, on uh, how to do research, all, the, all those kinds of things. And uh, we bundled that with the subscription to uh, actually to all of the English Pearson labs. Now I noticed uh, or something you had said uh, earlier, Pat, about how some younger people who were, let's say, brought up in, or yeah. you know, older people too, but some, yeah. so some who are, yeah. are, are, are uh, yeah. Use, use computers well. Once they're on, you don't really yeah. need to have any uh, in-depth computer skills because it's basically mm. just point and click. I found that they're really, they find it gratifying that they're doing the things mm. that their kids okay. are doing, that okay. they're getting online now. You know, it might be somewhat limited, but still, they're, they're, they're developing the basic skills right. of being able to use this technology. And it really does open up their, their horizons. Um, and I agree, by, you know, a handful of weeks in, Pretty much is everybody comes into the lab, does their thing, and they're able to they're able to work on their own and mm -hmm. you know work with us on it. So it um, it it yeah it works very well. For the most part, this <coughs> is um, basic writing for the my skills lab. Okay. So um, we tend not to get into some of the the more esoteric uh, okay. uses of the comma okay. or the complex ways that maybe a fiction writer would use it. Wouldn't you agree? Right. Yeah. So. I mean, I, yeah, I haven't noticed any discrepancies. I mean, every once in a while I've noticed a computer glitch here or there, yeah. but I just, you know, tell the students, hey, it's, it's really about you right. know, a learning process. This is the way language is. Right. I mean, it's yes. not math. 
Um, mm -hmm. There are differences of opinion on some things, and I've had that's those moments great. too. Yeah, Maybe, yeah. I know. I, I in the tutoring uh, center in, in English, I know I've run into that sometimes. Yeah. Where, um, you know, I'll say one thing, and the instructor says something yeah. else, and I say, "Well, I'm, I'm just trying to be honest with you. This is the reason I would do it this way, right. but." You know, this is a serious game. You want to please the instructor. So <laughs> if, if we differ, you know, you choose the instructor's way. And, right. you know, but I, I tell them why uh, it's, you know, I would do it that way. Uh, I know where uh, you, you're, this is in, a prog in progress, but so far anyway, have you seen some positive results? Um, I, well, I definitely have because one <coughs> of the things that I've been noticing is um, that their editing skills have really improved. I mm -hmm. also tie it in with some other things that I do in my class, um, but it just seems to really reinforce the importance of editing. Well, that's yeah. great. Yeah. And uh, people show up to the labs, uh, they're engaged by really? the, the okay. process, and um, that's a difficult thing to accomplish when you're, especially when you're working with the mechanics of writing. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. hard to keep students engaged when you're talking about the many uses of the semicolon, <laughs> um, but um, but this this keeps them engaged, and and um, that's not the end purpose, but it certainly okay. gets you there. Okay. Um.